A beautiful, sunshiny Sunday at glistening new Love's Field in Norman, Oklahoma. You're watching Sooner Softball presented by OU Health on Sooner Vision from ESPN+. Plus. One of those seniors that comes in and hits her. So Malaysia Ochoa to first base on that hit by pitch. Just gotta get comfortable. Angelina Allen now rolls one to first. Sanders decides to just take it to the bag and get the sure out on Allen Ochoa. And, and strike three. Don't know if he said she went around. Deal trying to leave her out there. Strike three called as she busts one back over the inner half. Back to back strikeouts to close the first for Kirsten Deal. Ripped into straightaway center field, but right at Malaysia Ochoa for the first down. That was squared up by Cassidy Pickering. Aziza Rodriguez, team All American last season for the Sooners. An excellent defender. Remember, she was a shortstop at Oregon before she transferred to Oklahoma. She draws the one out walk. Ball four, little up. And now back to back walks to Brito and Sanders to get Tiare Jennings to the. But just the sport in general. And the amount he, of exposure. And he's been at three different programs as this one skips out of Marin's glove. But he has been at three different programs who built a stadium while he was head coach. In the air to right, wind is blowing this way back to the fence, and it's gone. A three-run home run. T.R.A. Jennings hitless on the weekend no more, and in a big way with a blast to right center field to get the Sooners on top 3-0. <laughs> Chad, you called that. You knew she was due. What a pitch. Seeing it later in the zone. Taking that opposite field. So we do have a different wind today. It was a little chillier yesterday. Had a north breeze coming in. And up today, batting over 400. That's hard hit back up the middle. And the offense restarts after the three run home run by Jennings as Parker follows with a single. Destiny, you just have to keep the ball down. Keep the ball down. Let your defense work. And down to second base goes Ella Parker. Back to back reigning regular season Big 12 champion in women's basketball. This is well hit. Left field it goes. Allen, though, back to the warning track and is able to make the play in the middle of that warning track. Coleman flies to left. I've seen a lot of hit batters on that pitch. Foul tip. But it's hung on to there by Marin and a strikeout of Kinsey Hansen. So Skirman comes on and gets the final two outs, but not before the Sooners grab a first inning lead of 3 0. Yeah, so there was a lot of emotions going on, and they were not super impressed with the pitching staff. So I think they stepped up and did what they needed to do. Well, you could tell Boone was battling that sun, almost squatted down and pulling away from that. That need to be made and understanding where you're at in the field, where the sun is, where the wind's blowing, where these buildings are, what this awning does. It'll pop up here. Hansen squeezes it for the second out. So she walked in for that first game day and just an unbelievable experience. There's the third strikeout for Kirsten Deal. She has retired six straight. Jennings in the first to capture this advantage. And Avery Hodge bunts the first pitch. Ashley Miner in from third springs forward, as we all did overnight, and throws out Avery Hodge. Slashes this one into the alley in left center field and all the way to the base of the wall. Great speed and cruises into second with a one-out double in the Sooner second. In the top 15 nationally. Bouncing ball in the hole at short. Ranches with a long throw and couldn't get her. Ranches. 
Big strikeout for Skirman for out number two. And climb the ladder on Brito. <laughs> really good job by Skirman. Ooh, that was close. I think Sanders leaning into that <laughs> may have helped buy the call. And the bases are loaded for Jennings. So Sanders has walked twice in this game. Skirman got a big strikeout a moment ago. This one a slow roller cut off by Miner. And Skirman able to pitch out of the bases loaded one out situation without giving up a run. Rosters will need to be replenished. <laughs> Swing and a miss by Nosen. Into center field, but right at Jada Coleman. Two down. What to deal with. Into the gap in right center field. Coleman tracks it down and will hold Ochoa to a two out single. So she's been on base twice. Pop up, chasing back is Jennings into shallow left, and the inning is over. Two out single for Ochoa, but she's left stranded, and the Sooners carry a 3 0 lead to the bottom of Waco today. What you see Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Texas, Baylor, all in the top 15 nationally. First pitch swinging, Ella Parker, and she has a diving double, and another Sooner extra base hit, their third of the game. Sooners have 14 extra base hits on the weekend. And Skirman unable to find that outside corner. The 3 1 driven deep left field and gone. A three run home run for the captain Kinsey. Her first hit of the weekend. And the Sooners lead 7-0. The previous pitch was called a strike. A ball on that pitch and a walk might have been a better outcome for the Cyclones. She can work with. It is typically going out of the yard. Just slightly inside. Up at the hands. It's almost like she was expecting that pitch. So six nothing. There's a base hit just over the outstretched glove of Ashley Miner and into left field. Third hit of the inning for the Sooners. Riley Boone homered yesterday. Hodge is on the move and slides in just underneath the tag of Nosen at second base. So Riley Boone doubled her first time up in this game. Rolls this one to Nosen. Underhand flip. Nearly pulled Spellhog off the bag. There's the first out of the inning as Hodge advances to third on the play. Well hit. Straightaway center field. Ochoa can't reach it. It's off the E in Sooners. Into score comes Hodge on another Sooner double. This one off the bat of the freshman Cassidy Pickering. This OU offense is just seeing the ball so well. And there's not many pitches that you can throw them that they can't handle. That pitch was down in the zone. That one bounces and deflects off of Marin. Pickering's. Strike three called. Tatum Johnson just blistered that one right down the middle. Felt that through the entire at bat. Mm -hmm. This one is hit hard and deep to right center, and it's the fourth home run in two days for Sydney Sanders. She crushes one up onto the concourse outside the outfield wall in right center field. That was a blast. A swat by Sidney Sanders. Second home run of the inning and the third of the game for the Sooners who have hit eight home runs in two days.
there's not a lot of pitches that you can't that you can get away with throwing to Sydney Sanders. I mean, her spray chart, she's all over the field. She's capable of working with any pitch you give her. Flair out into shallow right. It evades the glove of Noson and lands for a single for Elena Torres. Eight of the nine runs have scored on home runs in this game. And this might be another. Parker, deep drive and gone to left center field. Power from the freshman. Another two-run home run for the Sooners. And the lead swells to 11-0 in the third. I mean, there is no question to these balls that are leaving the yard. They are out of here. Ella Parker is three for three today. A single, a double, a homer. She has five hits in seven plate appearances this weekend. So both these Sooner Diamond Sports teams trying to start Big 12 play 3 and 0 as core rolls one off the heel of the glove of Spellhog and she just did beat core to the bag inning over but damage done eight more runs for Oklahoma. There's strike three called. Now Monticelli haven't seen Carly Keeney or S.J. Guerin. Two up, two strikeouts for Pitt. Lifted to left field. Parker circles back and watches this one sail out of here. Carly Spellhog with the first home run of the weekend for the Cyclones. And that makes it an 11 to 1 game. Two strike pitch and gone over the left field wall. Monticelli just leaving that pitch belt high. But those are the mistakes that Iowa State needs to capitalize on. You've got to take advantage of those pitches when you get them. With the velocity of Monticelli, the movement. When she makes that mistake, you want to see them take advantage of it. Little pop up. Lilio has it, and the inning's over, but the Cyclones get on the board. Solo home run from Carly Spellhog. It is Oklahoma 11, Iowa State 1, and this is Sooner Softball. Pre willing to give it your all and be the best that you can be to help this team. This might be a base hit. It will be an infield single for Riley Ludlam as she edged that one under the glove of the. Hodge lifts this one to straightaway center field. Wynn going to toy with it a bit, but Ochoa chases it down for the first out. Rifle down the left field line, and that is a fair ball into the corner. Ludlam will get the stop sign from Patty Gasso down at third. It's a double for Maya Bland. Little pop-up. Nosen retreats into shallow right and grabs out number two for the Cyclones. 12 starts. Touches this one to deep right. Pool back to the warning track and Quincy Lilio has left the yard. Her first home run of the season, the fifth home run for Oklahoma today. 14-1, and, and just as you said, that's what Patty Gasso wants to see. Situations, can you take advantage when you get your opportunity? And Bland and Lilio have done that here in this inning. Yeah, and, and Coach Gasso wants to see that. She wants to know that there is no difference between who I start out there and who finishes this game. We're all capable of doing damage, and you see that with Lilio just Seeing a pitch that she can really work with. Getting that barrel through the zone. 
And that home run is presented by OERB, the people of Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. Five Sooner home runs. She draws a two-out walk. Torres rolls this one to third. Miner plays it across. Inning over. Oklahoma goes for the sweep. And their second run rule win of the weekend. When we well, Nicole May do well. We saw Kirsten Deal do well. Peyton Monticelli is doing a really good job. Strike three called. The third strikeout for Peyton Monticelli. And there's ball four. One out walk. Ground balls, fly balls. There's a rollover, tough play. Hodge on and a strike to first on the move. That retires Sender. And the Cyclones down to their final strike now against S.J. Gearin. In the hole. Hodge got to it, but will not have a play. And Ochoa has her second hit of the game. Strike three called, and Oklahoma sweeps it on the weekend. They win 14-1 by run rule on a Sunday afternoon at Love's Field. Five home runs, 13 of their 14 runs coming off the long ball today. A look at our final stats. Per